Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the TechTik YouTube channel. As you can see, I finally got my hands on another aftermarket AMD RX 480, this one being the MSI's RX 480 Gaming X version. So let's go ahead and check it out right away, because you're probably eager to see how it stacks up with other models on the market. The product box is basically identical compared to their ongoing versions of the NVIDIA's new Pascal-based GPUs. On the front you can see a big picture of the graphics card, while going to the back you will come across onto some overview of features, like the customizable LED lighting, MSI's twin frozer cooler design and your usual stuff related to the AMD's new architecture, and of course beside that we have the obligatory system requirements and some basic product specifications. Opening up the box, in this inner separate box you won't find anything exciting in terms of the bundle, just some user manuals, optical disk with drivers and software and a thank you note. And here's the graphics card itself. Taking a closer look at it, right away you can notice that MSI put the same beefy and cool looking Twin Frozer 6 cooler design seen on the GTX 1070 and GTX 1080 models. Beside the two 100mm Torx 2.0 fans, we have a big aluminium block through which run several copper nickel plated heat pipes, alongside some additional cooling parts for the upgraded military class power design components and video memory. You can also see a lot of additional cooling plates on the inner part of the graphics card, as well as one on the back, which besides improving the cooling capabilities of the card, serves the purpose of making it more rigid and bumping up its already good looking design. Speaking of design, we have this classical MSI's red and black color scheme on the outer plastic shroud of the card, followed up with red LED lighting on the top and MSI's RGB logo on the side. Right next to that you can see this metal frame, which is a part of the card's skeleton and which makes the card a bit more wide together with the bigger custom PCB design, so have that in mind in regards of your chassis size. Up there you can also see that we don't have any crossfire bridge connections, as they are not needed with this latest AMD architecture, you can set up your multi-GPU configuration without it. Opposite of that, on the other side you will see one 8-pin PCI Express power connector, while going to the front for video outputs you will get two display ports, two HDMIs and one DVI-D. Taking the card up for a spin on my benchmarking rig, first I had some fun with overclocking it, where I didn't get too far from the factory overclock frequencies, which were high to begin with. I managed to get fully stable 1365 MHz for the GPU core clock speed and 2220 MHz for the memory, compared to the MSI's factory OC mode, which you can set up using their gaming app software and which I used as a reference point for measuring its stock performance, that's not that much higher, but hey, any free performance gain is always welcomed. Looking at the performance figures, this model goes through 1080p resolution and maxed out settings without any sweat, and it can even cope with my 21x9 resolution, especially since I had the 8GB version of the card. The sweet spot for it is probably the 16x9 1440p resolution, especially if you consider overclocking it.
Probably the most interesting point of this model is its cooling capabilities, especially because we all know that some of the other vendors had a hard time coping with the heat output of the RX480 GPU. As you can see here, the MSI's Gaming X version steadily holds the GPU low temperature at 73 degrees Celsius, which is basically its default upper threshold limit, while fans spinning at around 1300 RPMs. In games you will pretty much see the same temperatures, maybe a bit lower, around 70 degrees Celsius, give or take a few degrees but with 100 to 200 rpms less on the fans, making the card really quiet. Speaking of the noise, since the card uses the MSI's Zero Frozer technology, the fans stay off if the GPU temperature is under 60 degrees Celsius, making the card dead silent for the most part, while under full load it's barely audible, basically very similar to my experience with the Nvidia's Pascal series of their Gaming X models. Last but not the least, I've already mentioned the MSI's gaming app earlier, while you can also check out my more detailed rundown of it in my former videos. And basically up there, besides changing the clock profiles for the GPU and memory, you can also fiddle around with some other settings, like setting up the LED lighting, changing their color and glow pattern, or enabling the OSD information overlay. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the MSI's RX480 Gaming X 8G graphics card. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course, if you would like to see more content like this, you can subscribe to the Tech Tick YouTube channel, or you can just check out some of the other videos from before.